This is Borodel. It's one of the most prestigious neighborhoods to buy and own real estate in Zimbabwe. And in today's video, I'll show you what its 8,000 US would buy you in Borodel. Our store is an elite community. The security here is top notch. They also told me the mall of Zimbabwe is coming right here in this estate, Pokugara. So about the neighborhood, Pokugara is an exclusive lifestyle estate. It's still under construction where people can live, work, shop and play. There are several clusters with each having a unique unit type. You've got the manor, the garden townhouse, the villa townhouse and the apartments that are built in phases. So let's go ahead and tour the garden townhouse unit before proceeding to the block of apartments. <music> The house sits on 2,200 square meters with an entertainment area at the back, enough green spaces wrapped around the property, there's a water fountain, there are three living rooms, two kitchen, a laundry room, you have an office, it comes with five bedrooms, it also has a staff quarters, an enclosed garage, and it also comes with smart features with a very functional and modern architecture. This is the entrance into the property and then you can see how the green areas, you know, kind of sink in with the property and then just behind me you have the fountain, the water fountain. The architecture itself is a very modern architecture. You have a garage on here that can pack two vehicles and then you have another garage here that can pack two additional vehicles. So this pathway right here leads us to the entertainment area at the back. I mean this is a very nice garden space on here. The greenery spread across all around the property. This is uh, sort of like a lounge, has its own TV, but right here they call it a bright area because you have the barbecue machine over there. And then just directly opposite, you have the pool. It's a decent sized pool. It's an infinity edge pool, right? Then you have a very nice sit out area just by that end. I know you really do appreciate the architecture because the backyard just seems like it's a different segment of the house. If you're someone who loves to invite friends and have parties, this is an ideal house for that. We shall now proceed to the interior of the property. It has a lot of glass facade wrapped around the property. Now there are two wings into this property. The wing which is by my right, you have the living room, the dining, the kitchen, all the way to the backyard. And this room actually has the office and uh, an indoor entertainment area and then it leads you all the way to the rooms. But I want to show you little details right here. This is the, the guest toilet. So this is the, the vanity and the countertop is really lovely. This is a very smart toilet, one of the five smart, smartest that I have seen. Uh, with the touch of a button, the toilet can get opened. The seats, they are heated as well. It has the hot and cool feature as well. You have the remote control over here. <laughs> Just a very nice feature to point out. This is the main living room. You have tons and tons of space for cross ventilation. Now you have a fireplace on this other end, which is a very nice feature because it gets really cold here. So this is like a six, an eight seater dining and just by my right hand side, you have the kitchen. When you first look at this kitchen, it looks very clean, very minimalistic. It has three sections. The first section is this open kitchen and then we have the closed one at the back and then you have the laundry as well attached to the kitchen somehow. So this right here has the burner as well and the induction hub and then with the push of a button you have you know outlets if you want to plug something grind or you want to charge your phone and all of those fancy things on there. Now this section of the house le leads us into the scullery which is sort of like uh, a laundry room if you want to call it and also the wet kitchen. So I like the way this part of the house was set up because you have the dining, you have the dry kitchen, you have the wet kitchen, you have the scullery and then you have the staff room on there and then you have an exit that takes you to the backyard. All right guys, so we are back at the foyer of the property. So if you look all the way up, you have a glass facade just by the left and right. It's a, it's a very healthy way of letting la natural light into the property. This is the guest room, right? Not so much going on here, but this area is like a play area, right? And on this other side, you have the office. This long corridor leads you into 
three rooms one of which is the primary bedroom and you have a lounge on here and you also have an entrance to the entertainment areas on the back i'll show you all of that there are two rooms on here one can be used as the children's room the baby's room or however and then it has you know um, a bathroom as well that's well equipped i love the way the glass facade wraps around all through the corridor because as you walk through you can have a view of the backyard now you have a storage space right here this other area on here is what i would like to call the family lounge right it's just private for the family it has an opening on there that goes to you know the outside and it's all wrapped in green so you can even put chairs on there have a nice time with family or this exit leads you to the back yard as well so you can you can access the backyard from here this particular room is the primary bedroom or the master bedroom as some of you like to call it look guys you have enough room for everything you have a space if you even wanted to make a mini sitting room right here you can also do that you have glass detailing on here for cross ventilation and then this room also has an exit to the backyard as well i really do love how the developers planned this building because the things that i actually do look out for first is exits and entrances you have a ton of them just in case of emergency those glass facade also lets natural light into the property which is what you like to call a very functional architecture come along with me to the back where you have the closet it's a, it's a walk-in closet so big that i don't know what kind of clothes you're going to have but you'd never run out of space it's so big place for your shoes for your clothes for your suits for your perfumes man this is a lot and this end right here coming you have the bathroom a very nice led mirror with his and hers vanity and then the countertop just adds all the detailing i love on the property right you have the wc remember what i told you these are electronic or smart wc's how you like to call them so with the top of a button you can flush you can clean you can even clear out the other if it has you can open it just makes everyday living very nice huh and then right here you have a bathtub and then on this end you have a standing shower now this is one of the biggest standing shower i have seen i don't know how tall you are but you never would get to the top <laughs> all right you have storage as well everything all nice and done this garden villa townhouse cost about 1.5 million dollars at the time of recording there was no show units for the manor or the villa townhouse but these are the illustrations to give you an idea of what it is going to look like yeah. so this is block one fully uh, finished and occupied and you can see we have residents in there right yeah, now as well okay yes then we've got the block two that we are handing over um this month and then block three in the background which is not even yet off the ground yeah and like i told you over 50 percent sold out sold out already yes and block four which is going to have the three bedrooms yeah is behind block behind. one and then far there that's our pokugara, pokugara right? residential estate yeah and we are going to have the biggest mall of zimbabwe Ah, uh, by the Somewhere corner right there, corner Borodan, which we're around. When is that going to? St when, when are you guys going to start building that? Soon. Soon, right? Yeah, but that's our cherry on top of all our development. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, so this is where the three, the phase three is going on, right? Yeah, block three. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to go inside. So this is uh, unfinished, uh, like the, right? This is how you usually would deliver it to the yes. to the clients, right? It's called right? lock-up stage. Lock-up stage. Yes. Okay. Where all the infrastructure works is done, the superstructure is also completed. Yeah. We also put the windows and external doors, so it's uh -huh. locked up. Yeah. And then you get to do your beautiful finishes internally. Yourself, right? On how, yes. Okay. So this is um, block two. As you can see, we are nearing the finishes. We've hidden away all the plumbing pipes works and, and, and pipes. So let's look at uh, block um, one bedroom. One bedroom. Yes. Okay. Right here. Um, I, look, I like the doors, guys. Look. So you can just come and then spray it white, black, brown, however. Come inside. Yes, and very lovely handles too. Handles, yes. Yeah. Yes. So this is your one bedroom. You are walking directly to the lounge. Sorry, that living, was the door. <laughs> living area. So this is the one bedroom. Yes. 
How much did this sell? This is sold out, right? So that How much did it sell for? At the time, which was early this year, they were selling at 65,000. 65,000. And then the price did go up to 72. And now, in the new block, they'll be selling more than 90,000 US dollars. Look, there's still a deficit in terms of modern living accommodation in Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, right? There's still a plenty of market. Plenty of players are welcome to come in and actually get into the development space to provide um, modern homes. Modern housing. So I see you guys are trying to make it really affordable because 65,000 US for a one bedroom in Borodell, mm -hmm. I was told it's, it's, it's a good value for money. So this is supposed to be the living area, this right? This is the living area. And then over and, here. And the shell, lock up shell comes with already water connections, yeah. gas, LPG, Electrical um, first fix plant uh, works are already done. So you can see the socketing is in and um, all the switches are also in. So this is your kitchen. Yeah. Um, you've got a scullery there, your storage space behind me here, and that's to the bedroom. bedroom coming right this. into a walk in wardrobe. <laughs> this is a walk in wardrobe. Once yeah. you fix it and, <laughs> and put a dresser there, yeah. this is your wardrobe space. To the left side is the bedroom. Yeah. Again, we made sure that all the living spaces have got big windows so that there's a lot natural of natural light lighting. coming in. Yeah. And then you've got a bathroom, bathroom on, yeah. which caters for a shower, tub, you've got double sink, um, toilet, and you can even put in a washing machine and dry. It's quite yeah. big. Okay, so this is the view the one bedroom has. Uh, yes. I know there's still work going on, but what is the future view going to look like? Well, we're going to have multiple apartments here. Yeah. Communities living here. We're going to have a recreational park, Millennium Recreational Park, clubhouse with tennis, uh, baseball, all the sporting facilities, as well yeah. as meeting rooms, prayer rooms, cafe, office or shared office space. Yeah. So it's going to be a huge community um, of a thousand apartments Whoa. here in this space. A thousand. A thousand apartments. Yeah. Our, our vision is to have a, one billion bricks on the ground. One billion? One billion And bricks. how many people are you going to house? Well, <laughs> 100,000 families, I suppose. It depends right. how, because the units are becoming quite small nowadays. Yeah. Our 28-year vision, which is... 28-year yeah, vision, so our, wow. Our strategy is to 2050. So if you look at our, our corporate uh, company strategy to 2050, it's putting one billion bricks in the ground to create lifestyle estates where people can live, work, shop and play. So that lifestyle element where there's a gated community, where either there's a golf course or there's a park and people can go there and relax, play mm -hmm. sports, enjoy themselves. There's homes around the, the, the facilities. And within that uh, location, within that node, which is a city within a city in some places, these are big nodes. One of them is like 500 acres. The other one's uh, 200 uh, hectares. They're big pieces of land. and. Within that node, people can have offices to go to work in. They can have homes where they can live in. They've got shopping malls where they can shop. And they've got these recreational facilities where they can play. So they can actually live within there and never leave that microcosm. So that's what we want to bring to Zimbabwe, these high quality states, lifestyle estates. I'll leave their contact information at the description section of this video. Should you need to contact them and get a unit for yourself. Whenever I visit an African country, I always like to stay informed as to how much the real estate costs and the type of architecture adopted in that region. So far, the type of buildings I have seen in Zimbabwe is mostly very modern. And then you have a few contemporary buildings here and there. In the next episode, we're going to count down the top five most luxurious neighborhood where the elite reside in Zimbabwe. I'm going to show you how the 1% live or build their properties in Zimbabwe. So you probably should stay tuned for that. Please subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. We make videos here about travel and real estate. And to the next video, I'm going to see you guys soon.